If you like this look, <laughs> stay tuned and leave comments in the section below. Is that how, is that how it goes? Kind of. Hi guys, it's me, Bianca. Do I really talk like that? What the fuck? Oh my God. Hi I'm sorry. Guys. Hi guys. Okay, so we have Miss Cecilia here. She's gonna prime her skin using that's it. Oh, I'm telling Cecilia to focus the primer on the areas where she has the most issues. Like me personally, I would do it here because they tend to crease a lot. Gores here, creasing here, creasing here. So yeah, for sure. I'm just putting it all over my face because it's like problem area the entire thing. Go ahead. So we're gonna use the shadow shields today for our look. How much are these? They are like eight dollars. But how many come in the pack? Thirty. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thirty shields. I got it on Amazon for like eight bucks. I don't use it on myself. I just use tape because I'm cheap, bitch. But for like my brides and stuff, I use it. For my brides, you know, my clients, I'll 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 splurge, but not for myself. Actually, they're really. The only thing I will say is they're really. Tacky. Like when I rip this off of your eyes later, it's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. If I don't do that. Am I gonna look scary? <laughs> no, it doesn't want to stick. <laughs> All right, so only do this one time. Am I hurting you? No. <laughs> so today we are going to use the Modern Renaissance. Yes. And. <laughs> We're gonna start off with a transition color or orange. Oh wait, no. We're gonna start with some eye primer. Sorry, I'm bugging. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, which I love. So all joking aside, I really feel like because I do have almond-shaped eyes, mm -hmm. I have so little to work with with the eyeshadows. Like, I can't... For sure. Um, it's definitely more tricky. But it's the same concept still. You still want to tr start with like a transition color close to your skin tone. I was just going to say, do you have like any suggestions for those with smaller almond shaped eyes? I, by the way, I love saying almond shaped. I don't see the almond in my eyes at all. But I it, get it. <laughs> Honestly, these like tape or these shadow shields will like will get you the look that you want. Pretty much with, with your shape, you kind of have to make your own crease. Unlike mine, I have like a natural crease. You do. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. kind of have to like make your own. Do you know that sometimes Asians will actually like tape their eyelids oh. to create that natural crease that other people really? have? Really? Or like that. their eyelids? The struggle. There was, I watched a video where this girl was talking about how this brush that came with the palette was her life and she was like oh my god i just need like a bigger size of this in her collection and this feels like sandpaper against my eyelids yeah it's really not that soft and like the morphe brushes are like super soft and gentle on the skin that is it feels like it feels like kind of like it's old like that old feeling brush yeah. all right i mean i appreciate it oh well, yeah for sure but i think i'm gonna take what is this cypress umbar is that what it's called Cypress Umber. It's weird. Oh my gosh. Just for like the outer. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about, how we have to like make your crease. So open your eye, the tag. Go ahead. Are you tired? No, I'm Asian. <laughs> Cecilia never does dark shadow, so she's really stepping out of her box with this. I think because I made her. Yeah, she did. <gasps> Uh, also, like, I feel like these neat little brushes do such a difference with, like, your shape. Yeah, I don't, I literally don't own Like, any you those. need to have, if you None have of smaller this. eyes or whatever, like, this is my favorite brush. Smaller brush. I use this brush on the regular, <laughs> which is, like, triple the size of what you want me to use. <laughs> this is my favorite, oh, like, God. this will, I, this is, like, if I need to, this is, uh. That's good if you just, like, want to, like, dust some stuff on. Yeah, that's my everyday brush. Like, <laughs> this is the brush that I use. I can't. Look at this girl, yeah. So I'm like, what is this? What does she use that for? <laughs> Contour? Like, what the fuck? Uh, I 
feel completely ridiculous with these things under my eyes. You'll be all right, cause let me tell you afterwards, I look like a rock You're gonna star. be like, I want those in my life. Or you can just be cheap like me and just use tape. I think we're gonna use ochre, that one. It's a struggle. With these words. With these, these words. Names. And we're just transitioning from the darker color and working our way up to a lighter color. So I'm using the orchard, orchard, whatever. Red ochre and real guard color. No se. I told you guys before, English is my second language. No se means I don't know. Right? Exactly. So in a case like this where you need some blending, then you would use a big brush. What should we do Vermeer or Primavera? Uh, well, you made Primavera sound like... Legit. Awesome. So. Okay. So... Primavera. Primavera it is. And then you want to take a clean brush to just blend anything out. This is the matte liquid liner from NYX. Then for... Gina eyes. Okay. Close. And this is where these thingies come in handy too. Ow! I told you! Oh my god! <laughs> I told you! What the hell? They're no joke! <laughs> I do it. I do it. Hold your skin. Hold your skin. <laughs> I told you it's so bad. Ah. That's the only downfall. They're so Jesus. rough. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna take um, a brow highlighter. This one's from Benefit. No. From BH Cosmetics. I you want to put your mascara on? I I'm know. like all over the face. I know. So I'm using Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Yeah, it's yeah. my favorite. We're going to use the Graftobian palette for her foundation today. And we're going to use her bay, which is the Farsali oil. It's like, what is it? The Rose Gold Elixir. And it actually has 24 carats of gold infused in the oil. Shmah. What some people do is, um, they use it, you have to shake it, You ha some people use it as a moisturizer. I use it as a moisturizer for the most part, but you, most makeup artists use it as a primer, um, or they use it um, for their foundation, to soften up their foundation. So like Bianca's doing now, she's just putting a couple drops, that's all you need. You don't need much, um, and it really just like loosens that foundation and gives you a really um, glowy finish. And it feels amazing, it smells amazing, and I have had, um, I recommended this to my sister, Susan, and, um, you know, she was really nervous because she's oily, and I'm also oily. Her main concern was, I'm oily, so why would I put oil on my face? But actually, it, uh, your skin soaks it up right away, um, and it doesn't, it's an oil, but it doesn't have an oily feel for residue, so it just, it's ma amazing, it's all natural. Um, for this particular size, this is 15 milliliters, and um, it's $35 with shipping. It's 40 bucks. They also have, um, if you follow any of the makeup artists, they also have um, coupon codes. So I always search for that on Instagram. Uh, I'll just hashtag Farsali Care. And then I'll look at the makeup artists that are using it, and someone will have a discount code. So, little tip trick. Because she's Asian, um, <laughs> I've got the worst skin tone color. Their skin tone is awful. No, it's just a little hard to match. But with bronzer and me mixing as best as I can together, we will get it together, y'all. You should see Bianca and I at Sephora or Ulta trying to. Um, skin match. Trying to find foundation that matches my color. Pretty sure that people want us to leave. <laughs> it's funny because I have the same issue with Jessica because she's really yellow mm -hmm. tone. So with her color, <laughs> we use the pale one that's semi close to it with, and then we just do like the bronzing. Like the, um, I guess the tan color. Just put like a little bit. If you put too much, obviously like, do you see that? Yeah, obviously, like, that's too much. But when you blend it in, it looks good. Uh, you know, 
Farsali is an oil, but it's uh, a natural oil, and so it doesn't leave you greasy. Right. Leaves you glowy. That's so. I have right now. Hello. Eyebrows. Anastasia, per usual. Brow is. Brow is. is it, what color is that? That's not ebony. Dark brown. So, I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared when I saw the eyeshadow. I really, really like it now. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, like, my my looks, sometimes they look a little scary in the beginning. Not even gonna front. They do. But then, like, after everything, they kind of just, like, come together some weird way. And then she likes the Tarte light beige. light beige Amazon Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. But what I'm going to do is just, like, tap a little bit on. Mm -hmm. What is this, like, a cushion? Oh, yeah. so cute. Just to, like, set her, her foundation because, like me, she's an oily bitch. Okay? Uh, well rested for the under eye. Love letter, y'all. Love letter. We're going to smoke this shit out. Look up. Um, to bronze her face, I'm going to use Hulu. Hula. Hulu. Hula. Hula from Benefits. Hula from Benefits. And gold brush. I know, I know. Okay. You can definitely put some on the forehead. And then also on thy chin. You can snatch her nose. Uh, what color blush do you want? You want the naked? Sure. Smile. She has the Anastasia. It's an Anastasia type of day. Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit. And what color do you want to use? Starburst. Starburst. I really want to try the um, Shanixo. Yeah, whatever. Save Kylie for when your brother does your out. <laughs> I, I did the Shanixo review and I forgot to use her freaking colors. Look how pretty they are. Oh, they are pretty. Shanixo came through. This is a really pretty color. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. And it's like super soft. Is mm. it? Sorry guys, this is the Shan XO, that one right there. That's really creamy. It's not like tacky. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm gonna try that one. Doesn't yeah. she look dropped though? Come on. Okay, come wait, on. let me fix this. This is like Crazy so hair. out of her comfort zone. No, I probably would not have done those colors. But right. Now I will. How come Nicole from Big Brother can have crazy hair in? And just paint where you put those stickers. And again, if you don't have these thingies, I don't even know what they're called. Sue me. But if you don't have them, you can always use tape. 